Don't, don't tense up, man. Don't, don't tense yeah. up, man. Running from the police might seem like a quick escape, but it often leads to unforeseen consequences. In this video, we will explore the cases about why you should not flee from police officers. In November 2021, 20-year-old 20 Andre Damon George was being questioned by officers at the Quality Inn Hotel in Blue Ash, Ohio, when he tried to do something stupid. Something happened between you and her last night? Um, I mean, not kinda, but not really. You just keep putting your don't don't tense up, man. Don't tense up, man. Where are you going? When one of the officers tried to arrest George, he sprinted back into the room and jumped towards the closed window. He collided with the glass, bounced off it, and landed on the floor. Despite his attempt to escape, George was arrested and charged with assault, first degree kidnapping, and first degree. He is being held at a $205,000 bond. Now, this attempt to flee might seem hilarious, but it pales in front of the next one. Hey! The Albuquerque Police Department responded to a distress call from Target, reporting a man posing as a Target employee who was trying to obtain store keys for the inventory storage section. According to witnesses, the suspect, who was later identified as Curtin Van, a 22-year-old from Bloomington, Indiana, was able to enter the storage area and take five Xbox One console. Can I just talk to you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost I'm almost this is my like twelve hundred dollars. Did uh, any officer get you anything from me? Yeah, so far so good. Did you check out my trespassing? Oh, I did not. I did. Uh, I just get okay. Come here. Uh, do you have an idea on you? It's in my truck. It's in the truck. I can give it to you. Do you have any weapons on you? No, no, no. Okay. Could you please like uh, stand up? I just want to check for your uh, weapons. Yeah, I can just take it on my. You yeah. want to check me? Yeah, no, exactly. that's all, man. Just one for the weapons, okay? Anything that will prick or poke me? Uh, what is this thing? I have no idea. All oh, this one piece. Okay. Another one is like a What is that? It's okay. Police were told by the staff members that Van had worked at another Target store earlier in 2023, but his employment there ended for unknown reasons. His name is CJ. He used to be a Target team member at okay. the Paseo Target. He was apprehended at so he pushed out 11 gaming consoles out of our Rio Rancho store a couple months ago. Okay. Rio P issued a warrant that we're supposed to handle on their end. He was back yesterday. He went to our Uptown Target where he got away with one Xbox console. So he imitates that he's a Target team member, gets keys, gains access to the locked case or the stock room. Which and console was it, sorry? Um, sure. An Xbox One yesterday. Okay. okay. Set up a Paseo Target. Or, excuse me, Uptown, Uptown. Louisiana. Okay. Um, he just left our Rio Rancho store and then came here. He didn't get anything from them this morning, but he was able to get someone to let him in. All those consoles there is what he selected. He tried going out the entrance door where I stopped him. Van refused to comply with officials and chose to remain silent after being informed of his right. He was notified right away that he is being placed under arrest on two charges of shoplifting related to incidents on March 8th and March 10th, 2024. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to talk to me? Yes or no? About, about to just about the incident while you're detained right now. You don't want to talk to me. Still can talk about. It. Okay, so it's, I'm going to take your answer as a no. Okay, that you don't want to talk to me right now. So go ahead and stand up. Okay, so you're going to be placed under arrest for a felony level shoplifting. Okay. Don't get that. I will get it. Will. Okay. Can I get double cup? I have um, shoulder injuries. Right. Do you have any injuries right now? They won't take it, uh, I'm gonna make sure you I'm gonna take everything out of your pockets right now. After Van was arrested and taken to the Northwest substation for processing, something unexpected happened. Stay here, man. Stay here. You're not going. All doors are locked. 
Even if you get past it, you're not going to get away from here. No. Get on the ground. Or I'm going to tase you. You cannot leave you. I'm going to tase you. Get on the ground. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Listen to me. You, get on the ground. You have no other charges right now. Other than the felony. Uh, so shop it. Just put, it, put the thing on. No, what's that happening? All right. Just uh, put it there. Taking advantage of a bathroom break, Van boldly tried to escape by pushing past police officers in an attempt to flee. Van's desperate attempt to flee was foiled by locked doors, so he took temporary shelter in the adjacent evidence room. And then you'll get your court date, and then all of this is just in the past. But if you fight us, you pick up extra charges that are now felony charges, and that makes everything much, much worse. Do you hear what I'm telling you? All I want is for you not to make this worse. I want this to be what it is, and then let's get it over with. Let's not add to it. <clears throat> and Curtis, I can appreciate that you look like you're a tough dude, but looking for the time a tense standoff followed as van barricaded himself using several chairs to support his position and resist apprehension you can get about your business once all is said and done would you at least talk to me no i'll bless you guys Okay, so you want to blast through us? Is that what you said? Okay. I couldn't understand what you said. Okay. Law blessing less. Okay. Hi. Can you specify a little bit more, all right? I'm not gonna let you hurt one of these officers, all right? Law enforcement officers face the long and difficult challenge of capturing Van without using four. Look, Van, Curtis, it's falling apart already, Curtis. Relax, dude. Relax, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of shape, bro. <laughs> Three to the right. Right, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Can you really help me with my shoulders? Okay. I got it, just Oh yeah, that's not uh Good. Cool. Good? Yeah. Alright. Cool. After about 15 minutes, Van finally made the decision to turn himself into the authority, ending the terrifying ordeal which clearly was not in his best interest. Not in this, damn. Put your foot in first. Yeah. Swing in like you're getting into a so car. As far, as far as I can pick it up. Can you take it off, Michaels? <laughs> nope. Stupid. Oh, that's actually not that bad. It's just like, yeah. Ow. He is currently being charged with a number of charges, including felony, shoplifting, resisting arrest, battery on police officers, and possession of a stolen vehicle. His bold attempt to flee might be amusing, but wait until you see the next one. You have a warrant. What Desiree. Have a Police received a report of a woman causing a disturbance in the middle of the street. When they got to the site, they started investigating the woman. That's okay. I had to run and get my cookies and I turned over there. Okay. And this woman, she got mad at me, so I was gonna leave. Like I was leaving right now. Okay, you got Please. your ID? Can I see your ID quick? No, sir. I don't got it, but I got my name. Desiree, Give me one second. Let me write it down. Just so it's easier if I write it down. Are you able to like look up a court date for me? I can try. Cause I'm supposed to have a court date. You I, are? I don't want to get a warrant. What for? Cause I had a uh, loitering and touring what? and I had um, battery, but um, like a warrant for battery or something. And I just got like, bailed out of jail. Alright, do me a favor. Why don't you stand over here so you know, we're not in we're not in the way of traffic. Okay? I don't want to get like a warrant. Okay, give me a second. Let me let me run you, and then if you want to chill, I can look that up for you. Okay, Desiree. As the police informed the woman about the warrant, the situation took an unexpected turn, and the woman's response met the officers by surprise. Yep, you got. A, you actually do have a warrant. What do you mean? Turn around. What do you mean? You have a warrant, what do you Desiree. Mean? Desiree. Stop! 
After about a minute and a half of a tense foot pursuit, law enforcement officers closed the distance and detained the woman, bringing the chase to an end. Hello? The woman was quickly arrested and taken to the cruiser. The officers also discovered that she was wanted on an outstanding warrant for violating her probation. When was I gonna get released? When was I gonna get released? When was I gonna get released? Gonna get released? It was a BOP warrant. What is a BOP warrant? Sir? Violation of probation. I'm sorry. Come on, come on. I promise, again, I don't want any charges. When will I get released? Well, I'm stuck. When can I get a gun release? When can I get a release? Pick up on female. Pick up on female, search. Yeah. Okay, breathe. Take a seat. Come on, take a seat. I don't want to sit in a car and what she got. You good? Come on. What's ironic is the fact that she was already aware of the warrant, and that is why she mentioned it before choosing to run away. I'm sorry. Where is he? It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Okay. How are you? I'm seeing you. Good ball. Yo. How far that arm from you? Yeah, I'll take a look at the picture. The woman was later charged with several offenses, including resisting arrest, violation of pretrial release, assault and back on law enforcement officer. This escape might appear a bit funny, but the next one will leave you stunned. And foot bail, foot bail, foot bail. Three occupants. On October 3rd, 2023, a tip regarding a retail theft at a Dick's Sporting Goods shop in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, just outside of Milwaukee, was sent to the police. 146, the vehicle is not stopping. We're in northbound 41. 57 miles per hour. Looks like we're at State Capitol. Hey, for a new in pursuit right now. We're going eastbound Capitol. We're still eastbound capital, speeds 59, traffic medium. The suspect defied the cops' orders to stop, so law enforcement officials responded swiftly by starting a chase. Now I'm about the 11000 block of capital. Foot still on the brake. I don't know if they're going to keep going. They're behind a disabled vehicle. Well, 
146. I'll wait for another vehicle to come in case I exit and they take off again. Again, we're eastbound capital about the 110 100 block. 10 4. Yeah, 115, 160 coming. 10 4. Juan just wants to set up sticks ahead of us just in case. After exiting the highway, the suspect stopped on the side of the road behind another car. However, the officer was still concerned that the suspect might try to flee once again. Do you want me to approach and then if they take off, you can go? Sure. That works. How many, do you know how many occupants or anything? Maybe two. Huh? Maybe two. Hard to tell at the tank. Okay. Is he set up yet? Uh, I didn't hear him say he was set up yet. Okay. Looks like he's almost there. What? Looks like he's almost there at 102. Okay. The first officer chose to stay in the car as the second officer approached the suspect's vehicle on foot. This calculated approach made sure that both cops would be ready to respond quickly if the suspect tries to run away again. So six is gonna approach, their foot's still on the brake, and if they try to take off again, I'll follow. Can you make announcements for them to roll down their windows? Yep. Driver of the Camry, roll all your windows down now. Driver of the Camry, roll your windows down now. The police officer walked over to the vehicle and started talking to the person inside in an effort to end this pursuit. Meanwhile, another officer took action by strategically placing stop sticks under the suspect's car, preparing to prevent any attempt to flee. A few seconds passed by, and the driver made a move that gave the situation an even more dramatic turn. Got sticks in front of the vehicle right now. Ten more. The driver suddenly accelerated, but luckily the cop in the car was ready to jump in a chaotic pursuit. The pursuit became even more intense as cars sped through the residential area. A6, speed 90, he's on Capitol, approaching 9-2. They just went through the red light. As the pursuit continued, the driver committed numerous traffic violations, including speeding, swerving across lanes, and running red lights, further endangering bystanders and law enforcement. Sure. 
Center, southbound on A4, southbound A4 from the Capitol. And foot bail, foot bail, foot bail. Three occupants. Bill. I got one occupant down on the ground. Looks like a passenger took off going westbound and the driver took off going eastbound. Already intense scenario became much more difficult when one of the tires of the vehicle blew out. Three suspects hurried out of the car and started running on foot. However, one of them was unable to keep up and the cops quickly apprehended the suspect. Yeah, it was a big crash. Crashed at like 8-4, 8 4 southeast corner of Capitol. Into like that old first door. Yeah, I think so. That's what you already knew what was going on. switched so many channels because they travel from each district. Get your hands up! Oh, hands no. up! Hands up! You're gonna get bit! Come on! Come on, get your hands up. I see you behind the garbage can. Face away from me. Face away. Face away. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. All right. I, 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 got, I got cover. On, on, the, no, oh, on the knees. On the knees. Let's get her. Get, get, her. get on your knees. Drop down to your knees. I shouldn't hold it back, buddy. Keep your hands in your back. The chase continued on foot, and after a thorough search, the officers found the suspect hiding behind a garbage can. Officers moved quickly and detained the suspect, who was later identified as Dariana Anderson. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? I got some water. Okay, I just want to make sure. I see that the top was ripped. Was that? Did you get bit by the dog at all? Anywhere? No. Okay. I just want some water. Okay, we'll we'll take care of that in just a second. All right. I'm just confirming that you have you yeah you didn't get bit. My that was already there. Starting. Okay. All right. Stand up for us. All right. You want to continue? Uh, we only okay. had one going this way, so I think this is. All right. Yep. Okay. We're gonna walk you back out to the front then, okay? On October 8th, 2023, Anderson made her first appearance in Milwaukee County Court. During the hearing, a bond of $1,500 was set. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we got to see cases where cops made the moves at the right time and managed to catch these heinous criminals before they could do anything sinister. Particularly alarming was the second case where the man had barricaded himself and the officers caught him without using any unnecessary force. It's officers like these who contribute to keeping our streets safe and they deserve the utmost respect. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.